Water Blue, North Jersey Van Life. How you doing, everybody? Uh, well, this is a little better view of the wheels. I know they look kind of unprofessional, but trust me, once the new tires are on, it's going to look amazing. Anyway, cleaned up today really good. Uh, I'm very happy. I walked. Uh, I can look right now on my watch. I walked today. Come on. 21,555 steps, which equals to 8.9 miles. I'm not done walking. I'm going to make sure I had uh, gotten 10 miles in uh, before, you know, before I take it down. Going to have other things to do. So, I will be able to reach that goal. So, yeah, I wanted to let you guys check things out with uh, better lighting. Now, I don't know if anybody knows, but if you have a van with barn doors, right? If it's a Chevy, and a lot of time people are like, well, how do you open your barn door all the way open like that? Well, I'm going to show you a quick little tip. So when you when you pull the door open, it normally won't go here. I'll use my foot because I want to stay back. It normally won't go further than that, right? You see? But there's a little lever right here. So while the door is halfway open, gotta pull it closed a little bit more, and then you pull this tab forward so I have to close the door just a little bit more close it pull it forward and what do you know voila opens the entire the entire door so it, you know it's nice and wide or in case you need to do something whatever so anyway it's a good help because when it starts getting hotter you may want to um you know you just want your doors wide open i was hoping the lighting was a little bit better in here but anyway there's the ceiling ceiling is uh awesome and amazing uh the bed is halfway done but anyway i swept today really good uh put everything back and uh yeah, did good. Did good today. That's yeah, my my extra food and stuff. I didn't um, the other day. First time. Imagine that in about close to seven years since I've been in this van. I ran out of gas, and luckily I ran out of gas at a Walmart. Yeah, so the Walmart was on a main highway. And, you know, I had to walk quite a while to get the gas. But uh, everything worked out because on the way back, I ran into some young guys because I knew I couldn't take the gas on the bus. And I ran into some young guys. They were just coming out of um, a wing stop. And I could just tell their spirit was, you know, brotherly. So I said, hey, brothers, uh, you're going straight up the hill or, you know, up the highway, rather. You mind giving me, a, you know, a lift? They, you know, they put two and two together. They saw I had a, you know, a, a, a gas uh, receptacle, gas can. So anyway, they shot me up there, saved me a lot of time. And, and I was able to get about my day. So everything uh, is everything. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just chilling today just chilling took it easy it's the pet it's the, um you know it's my shabbat so just took it easy today let me uh let you see from the rear how this all looks this is the only blanket that i didn't fold i didn't bother because i know i'm gonna sleep under that one so it's gonna wind up you know, like a regular blanket should. Anyway, 
I'm very pleased with the ceiling. You know, nice and flush. Uh, there are some like, I, I have plenty of reflecting le left. So I'm going to make some summertime uh, window for the front windows and uh, make, you know, black on one side, reflect it on the other. And I'm gonna put those together shortly. I'll show you my method. I use cardboard uh, in the middle, uh, you know. So anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll let you see. So I got all my supplies. I just have to run into a nice TV box, one of the, you know, 40 or 55 inch TV boxes. That way, my uh, window shades that I use now, I mean, they've they've done their work, so it's about time to move on from those and, and create some new ones. Again, cardboard is your friend. It's not gonna cost me anything. All I have to do is, you know, yeah, just be riding down the street. Somebody just bought a new 40 inch TV. You know, I'll take that, cut it up. Uh, a lot of, well, I'm not going to just take their TV. A lot of times the boxes are left outside for recycling. So why not I recycle them and uh, do something positive and constructive with them? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. And also I made a purchase today, which I really shouldn't have, but I uh, needed to get something for myself and for my son. And so let me close... I um, was at the Burlington Coat Factory and I got some of these, uh, you want to call them fanny packs or whatever. They were big in the 80s and I think even in the 90s, yeah. So um, anyway, I got a good price on these. It says U.S. Army. Um, so hey, I'll let that represent my grandfather. He's a World War II veteran. And actually, I have a lot of his pictures from when he served in Italy uh, fighting, yeah, the Nazis and the, uh, you know, Mussolini and and all of that, yeah. In fact, I have pictures that he took of uh, Mussolini uh, when he was captured. Yeah, I actually have those pictures. Um, so, yeah, so that is, that's what, what that is. So I had to pick these two up. Obviously, I got the identical ones. That's all they had, but I knew that that was just a blessing. Because sometime when uh, my son and I are out, and especially me, like today, I, I was walking on my path, uh, my hiking trail, and I was able to bring my... <clears throat> I was able to bring my... Uh, what is this bad boy called again? Goodness gracious, my JBL. Um, yeah, I was able to bring that. That way, I you know I could walk and listen to uh, listen to some, some scriptures and stuff, and still have my hands free. And besides, all you know, have my um, my keys, so I can leave my keys, my phone. Excuse me. All inside of the fanny pack and uh you know just travel you know just make things easier because i have another fanny pack okay and this one is from work and i remember i got this when we got uh when covid first started they gave those out along and uh inside was uh different types of masks because we didn't know what was going on nobody knew what COVID was and they also gave us goggles and you know it was kind of like a a Batman and Robin utility kit just in case we had encountered any violent patients that may have also had been infected it was really like the beginning of a bad movie one of those uh you know, zombie movies. I was definitely on the front line during and all through all of the COVID. Um, yeah, 
So, yeah, that, that was uh, an experience. But anyway, this, that particular fanny pack is just way too small. I can't fit much in it. And this one or these that I picked up today, I mean, just I couldn't even ask for anything more perfect. Uh, priced very well. You know, Burlington, you, you're always going to find something there good. And uh, that my son can uh, fit his tablet and his toothbrush. He just got braces three weeks ago. So, you know, little stuff that when we're out and about, you know, he can just go right into his bag and, you know, in case we get some, have pizza or whatever, you know, afterward he can, you know, go hit his choppers really quick, you know, just uh, to make sure that uh, he's keeping his oral health uh, proper and uh, taken care of right. So yeah, that's that. I uh, I think I have said enough. Um, I really have. Uh, uh, I was gonna show you. Maybe another time I will. Right now, um, I'm gonna sign off. Water Blue, North Jersey, Van Life. Keep your eyes on the road. The wind to your back. Keep your head up even if you get fed up. Stay in between the lines. The mayo and the mustard. Be safe. Keep God first. In the name of Jesus. Shalom. Family. Peace.